So last week we talked about our one day in Glacier National Park. Today we're going to talk about all the exploring you can do around epic places like Glacier. Yeah, we hope to give you some ideas of what you can enjoy in case you can't get into the park for some reason like we couldn't. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Nicole. And, and we, we are, are the Cajun, Cajun Nomads. Nomads. of our time at Glacier National Park we couldn't get into the park again so we decided you know what we're gonna go explore today and we're gonna find a town to go visit so we googled and we decided on Whitefish Montana which we enjoyed a lot we liked it a lot it's a great town yeah and something that you ought to know is that when you go to these large destinations like a glacier or Yellowstone there's always mm -hmm. these incredible things to do around the parks so that even on inclement weather days mm -hmm. or days you just can't get in because of overcrowding there's so many amazing things to explore yeah so one of the things I like to do is go to art galleries so I drug him with me and we went to two <laughs> art galleries we went to Santee World Art Gallery, which I'm hope I'm saying right, and it has amazing, amazing artwork. Um, but also, it has a cafe underneath, which is very cool. And we met a really neat person. Okay, I really like this place, this art gallery. Um, the works are just beautiful, and the cafe underneath is cool. But one of the most fascinating things to me is that this was a church, um, and around 1905 it was built, and they've converted it into this awesome art gallery and cafe, and I just love that. So we're at this great art gallery called Sunti World Art Gallery. So I'm, I'm getting some help right here. That has this great cafe. If you go downstairs, you're upstairs, and it's the most beautiful art from great artists all around the world. But then you come downstairs, and then you have the cafe. Who am I talking to here? Hey, I'm Paige. Paige. Paige will make you the best uh, latte you've ever had in your life. And um, uh, we're just really loving it. Nicole loves to do art, as you guys know. Um, what do you think of it so far? I love it. It's very interesting and it's just some beautiful things that people have made. And we made. Um, so um, this is in Whitefish, Montana. Um, you're about 20, 30 miles outside of Glacier. So, you know, when you come to Glacier, if all you check out is Glacier, you're missing some of the great communities around here. And I believe there are also a ski resort uh, here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Big with some big, big mountain. Yeah. And um, they have also a beautiful lake. What's the name of the lake? Uh, Whitefish Lake. Whitefish Lake. Um, you spend much time out there? No, I used to go to Flathead Lake. Flathead Lake. <laughs> All right, so you recommend Flathead Lake. Yeah, it's over by Big Fork. Okay, Big yeah. Fork. Okay. Awesome. So if you're in the area, you want to check these places out, you will not be disappointed. So after we worked up an appetite sightseeing at art galleries, right, we decided to go to this really cool restaurant called Bunzai Brewing Project, and they had incredible food. What did we eat there? Soul bowls. Soul it's these, bowl. Yeah, these bowls full of just healthy, organic, I guess locally, you know, grown, yes, grown food. Yeah. And so mine was delicious. It was absolutely fantastic. So then after we ate, I thought we would um, go to another art gallery because that's what I like to do. So I drug him to <laughs> Dick Idol Signature Gallery and I just loved it. One of my favorite things, you know, about Glacier was you got to see what God created just in nature and how awesome and beautiful it is. But then when you go to an art gallery, you can see what men and women create with their own thoughts and mind, their, you know, inspiration and then their hands and their heart and so i feel like it just i don't know it just fills my cup yeah it does and she didn't drag me anywhere i do like going you know, she she likes it more than me but i do enjoy going and primarily because a lot of times when you're in these art galleries in beautiful areas many of the artists are inspired by nature around them and so you get to see their you know how they choose to express that and i just think yeah. it's amazing yeah their interpretation and mm -hmm. how they reflect it in themselves it's just a neat thing so we enjoyed that. Other thing we noticed is as we were driving, just you could stop on the side of the road and see these epic views. I mean, so we stopped quite often and uh, this was one of them. Our next 
birthday, day four, he had to work. So I continued to explore things and it was very exciting. So just to recap a little bit, when you go to these great destinations, make sure and check out all the things around them, the small towns and the mm -hmm. sites and foods and all that stuff. So another tip we would give you is that when you're in these places and you have so much coming in as you're tr exploring and looking, is take time to process it. When you're having these experiences that are so grand, taking time to process them for me is like one of the fun things to do. So I would, that's another idea. Make sure you're enjoying and fully processing your experience. You know, at the end of going through Glacier, which we entered the West Gate and got to the East Gate, then went back again, um, I was so, my senses were so stimulated, it's like I couldn't feel anything anymore. Because all my senses were like on high, wow, you know, I was in such awe. And so it's just taking time to process them. Um, so we just kind of had a rest day and needed some time to like really just enjoy it and just to rest in it and just relax yeah. and so that's one thing that we would encourage um, and so because of that we were only supposed to stay at the park three days and we asked if we could extend three more days so we'd have time because we were just enjoying it so yeah. much and of course everything was full mm -hmm. and yes. you know if you just immediately say well okay they're full we can't do it but you never know when something will change a cancellation or something will happen or they have a couple spots held back um, and they're using them for emergency purposes. So I did what any Cajun would do. I bribed them with gumbo. Yes, we did. That's I true. literally said, I will come and feed all of you gumbo if you will just simply extend our stay. And believe it or not, they did it. Yep. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. Probably they had the opening, and then, but they went ahead and just said, okay, you bring us a gumbo, we'll give you the extension. I, I probably could have negotiated better. But, but we, one of them was from Louisiana, yeah, so they wanted the gumbo. Oh yeah, they were like, we ought to make this deal. We, we really should make this deal. <laughs> So today I'm going to be cooking some gumbo for um, the people who run the park facility here. Um, they were, have been so nice and so we told them we'd make them some gumbo. So I'm trying to cook it in the kitchen while Sean is smoking some ribs outside for us for lunch. And Sean is cutting the chicken for me and the sausage, which is good since he volunteered me for this mission. <laughs> you see what had happened was we're up in Glacier in Labor Day weekend. It's the busiest time of the year and we had we were leaving we decided to stay three days and they said we don't have any room so i bribed them i said we will cook you an authentic cajun gumbo if y'all help us work this out next morning they called so we got a spot for three more days so we're cooking them a gumbo so we're going to feed a few of the workers here tonight and thank them for working with us and accommodating us and what a beautiful day i mean it's perfect. I think it's like seven degrees. It is pretty. I've got uh, right here, I'll show you. On my trigger, I've got some beef ribs that are smoking. Mm. Let me show you this. Look here. Ooh, Ooh. really good. Mm. So they're gonna smoke for about four hours and then I'm gonna wrap them in some paper. We're gonna smoke another hour or two. Woohoo! Look, this whole place is smelling like South Louisiana right now. <laughs> So I got my water balling with my celery and onions and bell pepper and we put some um, banana pepper and parsley and a little bit of green onion in there too. So I am cheating a little bit because I didn't make my homemade roux. Um, I've decided to use Savoie's roux in the jar and it really is good. So homemade roux is probably a little bit better but this Savoie's roux is good in a pitch. All right, so I added um, my roux to it. I don't know if you can see it. If I put the vent on, it gets super loud, but at least you gotta see better. So I got the roux cooking. And then I'm gonna uh, add some fresh garlic. I also add either like chicken broth or a little chicken stock, whatever I have on hand, just to help um, enrich the flavor. So I do do that. What I'm gonna have to do though is be careful of the spice. We can't season it like we eat it because not everyone eats spice like that. So I'm gonna try to do it mild. But the last time I did it mild, they still said it was spicy at another place. So I'm gonna put barely any pepper in it, any cayenne, and then I'll just season more for us later. So Maru's looking good. It's getting ready for that meat. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go get the cut up meat from Sean. I'm also gonna add um, some chopped tasso, like just cut real thin. Tasso um, is a meat that we get in Louisiana that's hard to find. So I freeze some in like little sections so that way I can just add that to um, when I'm cooking when I need it. 
And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. Well, that gumbo's finished, so we have it all packaged to go. He's gonna drop it off. Got a little bit of something, something in there. Potato salad, rice. Got him some gumbo. All the gumbos. Salad. She did a good job, Nicole. You did good, baby. Oh, thank you, babe. We did good. I hope so. Hope they can eat it. It's not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be for us. So, just to recap, when you're in a great area like that, enjoy the things that are all around the destination itself. So you have a great park. What are the surrounding towns? They have a lot to offer. Second, take time to reflect and really take in everything you've been experiencing. Yeah, because not every day needs to be a go and do day. Some days you just want to be and just kind of receive everything right. you've been experiencing. The third suggestion is to enjoy your park and the people around you because you forget there's other people there experiencing the same thing you are. Yeah. Well, and maybe or sometimes almost. a little different. And for us, we were in this beautiful park and we hadn't really taken time yet to even see the park. And you never know what you're gonna see walking around an RV park. So you never know what you're going to see, you know, there's so many different types of people. I love it because we get to meet all kinds of people. I met some other guys who are YouTubers and, in, you know, Instagrammers that were traveling all over and yeah. their schedules were almost identical to ours. So that was really neat yeah. to see. And so you get to meet a lot of people, but we also, the park itself was super nice. It was surrounded by mountains. And so you could sit outside while you were barbecuing your steak and he also smoked some ribs while we were there Did. and just really enjoy the atmosphere around yeah. you. Wildlife, deer would walk through the park at different times of the day. Uh, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And so there's so much that you know is offered right there in those types of great RV parks. If you get in a bind and you need to extend your stay in an RV park, a good gumbo obviously works well. Yes, it does. <laughs> so we had a great time in Glacier. Again, I wish we had captured more video. We would have if we knew we were only there for one day. But I think an experience of the one day is worth it. I would encourage everyone to go to Glacier that I know because I loved it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times people said, hey, come sit down at our picnic table and let's yeah. just visit. And you get to meet um, wonderful people, as she stated. Um, but anyway, it's, it's, it's a blast. It was an absolute blast. We really enjoyed it. We hope that you enjoyed this journey with us as well. If you're not a subscriber, we would love to have you join the crew, man. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up uh, if you don't mind, and, and the notification bell. That way, when we release new videos, uh, you'll be notified. We sure love having you along this journey with us. And so until next time, let the good times roll.